Righto, here we are back at our lovely Terrelgan house and I thought I'd give everyone an update on where we're up to. As you can see there's someone parked out the front so work must be going on which is really good. There's not a lot of change um, to the outside of the place other than ta -da, the new fence over here at the front. That one goes all the way through the back which we'll see in a minute. Um, but let's walk through and have a look at what's going on inside. It's pretty much a bit of a demolition site at present. Um, so let's take a look. Righto, so here we are in the lounge room. As you can see, we've taken out that old fireplace. We've got everything and the kitchen sink in here at the moment. Um, we've got a bit of plaster patching that's been going on. Uh, we've got some more plaster patching that's been going on on this wall. And that's pretty much it in here. We're all prepped for painting. So we've done the no more gapsing and the sanding and um, all that sort of stuff. So what we're looking at doing in here today is actually washing this wall down and getting a coat of undercoat on. One thing that I, we have done is we've installed a ceiling fan up on the roof there. And then you can also see all that wall patching that's gone on over there. That whole wall over there um, has all been replaced from about um, sort of 1200 down. Um, it's all brand new plaster. And this is um, it's all just been patched up here and there where it requires. Okay, so we're in the main bedroom now and we've had once again lots of plastering going on. That section of plaster over there is all brand new. We're patched, we're no more gaps. Um, we're just going to wash those walls down and get painting. Same with all the patching over there. And we've got the new ceiling fan up on the roof there. Okay, we're in the second bedroom now and this has kind of become our quasi storage room. As you can see, all our gear and stuff thrown about here. Um, we've had just patching on the walls, new plaster and the ceiling fan in here as well. Okay, the kitchen, we've ripped out the bench top as you can see and all of the tiling uh, for that splashback. And we're going to, we've got a new bench top actually at home at the moment and um, we're actually just going to paint in this room and then we'll put the new bench top on and uh, we'll do the, the tiling of the splashback again. Um, so things are just looking pretty messy in here really. And we do have some new spotlights up there, as well as, let's have a look if I can show you that one. Oh, there you go, ceiling fan up this end of the kitchen as well. Now this is the hallway where the dodgy old cupboard was, and as you can see, there is no longer a dodgy old cupboard. There is a nicely new, freshly plastered wall, and that's actually a shower screen leaning, an uh, overbath shower screen leaning there waiting to be put on. Um, so we've just had in here just wall patches and the new oyster light put up. Okay, and so this is the bathroom. Now there's been big changes in the bathroom and that's because someone else is doing the work. <laughs> so we've got our lovely uh, builder come renovator come handyman Steve who's been working on the bathroom for us. And as you can see he's done, uh, we've, we pulled out all the walls and he's patched everything up with new wall and waterproofing. Um, we've pulled out the taps and stuff and he's actually working on the tiling so let's have a quick closer look at the tiling there that's our little feature strip that's going to go down the wall there and we've just got the big um, the big white tiles and that's going to look a lot more stylish than the old uh, lamy panel I'm sure the other interesting thing about the bathroom is that there used to be um, a doorway through there into the toilet and it is no longer we now just have a plain wall um, as you can see there and we've changed over the way that the door opens we've hung a new door actually and it now opens out onto that flat wall whereas it used to open out onto the shower um, so this room actually looks a heap better since we've closed that off a lot less cluttered and, and stuff with all those doorways going on and that's the other side this is the toilet side and as you can see we've got a big patch of open wall there that needs to get shut off um, we've had a new sort of oyster light put up there and um, we haven't done a lot else to this. We're getting that toilet fixed and we'll do some tiles, but nothing really happening much in there. And over here, it's the laundry. And this has been the first cab off the rank to get some painting done. So yesterday we put undercoat um, all in this laundry here. And what we're hoping to achieve today is to finish the undercoat for the rest of the house now that's a bit going to be a bit of a, a big task so we'll see how we go okay, here we are in the backyard and as you can see it looks like a bomb's hit it and that's only half the junk <laughs> uh, 
Um, new fence over there, you can see that new fence running all the way along, apart from that really dodgy section down there of neighbour's um, dodgy shed. But we're going to have to, we're getting that covered over, actually the neighbours um, are actually going to cover that over for us with some corrugated iron or something like that, a new piece, so it looks um, a lot nicer, which will be really good. Um, we've got a skip there ready to get rid of all of this waste. So as you see, we've got a lot of building materials, um, wood palings from the fence. We've got the old antenna from the roof and the old heater and even the bathroom sink. Yeah, so that, that's where we're up to at the moment. We've been really in demolition phase and just knocking out things and ripping things out. And now we're at the stage, hopefully, where things will start to, to look good as we start to bring it all together. And um, once we get this painting done, we can really start to put in place all the niceties, you know, the new blinds and the, um, the floorings and all those sorts of things and, and make things start to look really good. So I better get to work.